Hi team, this is Chris Abraham from Go Academy, and in this video, we're gonna talk about what you need to do to get ready for the math and science teacher workshops. Let's take a look. In this video, I wanna show you how to get started with the math and science pre-workshop homework. This is for teachers that are taking the new Math and Science 278 General Curriculum exam, the Science 64 exam, and the Science and Math 77 exam. First, you want to go to Go Academy's main website, type into Google www.goacademy.com, and you'll get to this page here. On this page, you're going to notice right below the video there's a button that says resources. You actually have to hover right underneath the word resources. And there's a link right there. We're going to press that link. So let's press it. It's going to bring you to Go Academy's teacher resource page. And it's from here that you can access the math pre-workshop homework and the science pre-workshop homework to get ready for the class. To get to the math pre-workshop homework, you're going to scroll down the page. This is the pre-workshop homework for math. This link is also located further down the page when we get to the math and science section. This is the link for math and this is the link for science. If you're doing a math and science exam, you're gonna to have to do both this pre-workshop homework and this pre-workshop homework here. This one, let's do it real quick. I'll press the link. It opens up into the math pre-workshop homework page. There's an instruction video that will walk through how to approach the top 100. That's gonna help you review core math concepts. Make sure you watch this video. It will guide you through what to do for the math pre-workshop homework. It will get you ready for the math section of your math and science test. But remember, when you're doing this and you press on these links after you watch that video, to focus on videos in columns one and two first. Make sure you get those under your belt. And make sure that if you're watching these videos, you either post a comment or you like the video to indicate that you, you watched it. Now let's take a look at the science. Let's go back to that previous page and let's focus on the science pre-workshop homework. That's gonna be the second link here. I'm gonna press it. This page is gonna help you review core science concepts and it's very simple. There's directions here, but let me just walk you through what to do. You're gonna find as you scroll down this page, a list of terms. These terms are the core science concepts that you see on different exams. Now the science pre-workshop homework is similar to other classes that we do that target key vocabulary words on the exams. We're gonna start with a term like scientific method. We're gonna press the link and it's gonna open up into a, either a short video, a slide, or an article on the scientific method. So let's just press it. This one opens up into a quick slide on the scientific method. And visually, it's gonna help you review some of the components of the scientific method like observation, hypothesis, experiment, data analysis. For a lot of teachers, this is all you're gonna need just to review the core idea behind the scientific method. Let's do another one. Let's go to physics. Let's do the first term, simple machines. I'll press on the link. This one opens up into a six minute video on simple machines. Levers, a wheel and axis, an inclined plane, these are some of the core ideas that you want to review because you're going to see these on the multiple choice questions. And by watching a quick video like this, it will help you with some of that core vocab. It's not meant to be overwhelming. You watch the video and you review the vocab before the class. The pre-workshop homework is meant to review core background knowledge for these science concepts, just enough so that we can dig into them a little bit deeper and you can answer and navigate through questions on your exam. So make sure you do this before the class. Remember team, review the terms bold and black first, and then after the class, we'll add on. If you're a science teacher taking the 64, you wanna do all the terms or as many as you can. And if any of these links don't work, I want you to email Go Academy. Often what happens is a video is updated or changed, and when the domain changes, the link no longer works. So if there's a link that doesn't work, just email Go Academy and they'll fix it. Let me show you two more things that are on this page to help you review core science. First, let's look at the practice exams. Scroll down the page. At the bottom, you're gonna find practice exams that contain math and science. 
Doing these practice exams is another great way to review core math and science concepts. I would suggest that if you're starting out, you, you review some of these earlier, more basic exams, and then as you go down, you'll get to harder math and science exams, and if you scroll down even more, you'll get to the harder stuff for middle school and high school science teachers. So just understand that as you go down the page, the content gets more complex, and it's meant for different teachers. But for now, I think most teachers are gonna be fine doing the 03 and the 78 and the 73 math and science questions. Even the 77 math and science questions are good practice. One more thing, and this is for teachers that are taking those middle school and high school science exams. In between the vocab section and the practice exams, there are formulas. Now these are some very common formulas in chemistry. If you were a chemistry teacher taking a chemistry MTEL, you definitely want to review these chemistry formulas. Same thing with these physics formulas. These are basic physics formulas. You're going to see some of this stuff on your exam. And again, that's for teachers that are taking the high school physics MTEL and or teacher certification exam. And finally, if you're a teacher that's taking a technology exam or engineering exam, make sure you review some of these core formulas. All right, team, use this pre-workshop homework to help you get ready for your class. It's all about reviewing core concepts, and this is gonna make you better and stronger and help you pass the test faster. So use this to get started, and I'll be seeing you at the class very soon. All right, team, take care. Bye-bye.